What it do, everybody? What it do? What it do, man? So look at what they brought me this morning. So I got a 83 Ford Tempo right there. Then I got a 91 Mercury Sable, 2001 Mustang, 2010 Hyundai Sonata, 2001 Volvo S60. Man, got a little bit of. A little bit of everything, but we're gonna go ahead and put the we're gonna go ahead and take the, the trash can forward up somewhere else, man. We're gonna go ahead and take it somewhere else. Oops, did I do that? Damn, my bad. I didn't even know the car even failed. Oh well. It's a piece of junk in the house. The reason why it's here. It's junk. It's junk, junk, junk. It's trash. Trash can fours is what they wanna be. Exactly what they going to be. Damn. These are these little crazy ass force of mine, man. They keep dropping this damn car. What the hell is going on, man? God almighty, why is it steady dropping these forks? Ah, oh, man. And you gonna see what's up with my forks. Why they steady dropping the trash can forward? It is what it is, man. Nah, I'm just doing it myself. Y'all, I'm controlling my stuff, man. But yeah, y'all, man. Yesterday was a very rough day, man. In total, 65 tires I took off and stacked. 65. When I got home last night, I paid for it. Big time. I mean, I really paid for it. Didn't get no sleep. Hands hurt, arms hurt, back hurt, leg hurt from getting up and down the loader so many times yesterday. Man, I mean, I am really, really hurt right now. Really is. But, like I say, like I always say, man, there is no such thing as quitting in my category. Keep on pushing, man. We just keep on pushing until you, and, and until you just can't push no more. That's basically what it is, man. Push till you cannot push any more. Cause there's no such thing as giving up or I quit. Ain't no such thing as that, man. It's just not. Hey, there is no such thing of that at all. You know, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So, my homie, the one in Memphis that lost his son, he called me yesterday, right? I, right, you know, said right that I got home. I got home maybe about eight o'clock or something like that. Got home, talked to him to about. One o'clock in the morning, you know, he was telling me, you know, all the depression, the stress he's going through, and you know, said how, you know, how how his ex-wife was not even talking to him, and all kind of other crazy stuff. So his ex-wife's trying to blame him for the death of their son, and all kind of other stuff. You know, she's trying to she's trying to do to him. You know what I mean? She's trying to take him to court, and all kind of stuff right now, man. So this man is going through so much right now. He is. He is going through so much, man. I mean, I talked to this dude to one o'clock in the morning, y'all, talking to him, just trying to help him get his mind right, trying to help him focus to where he can try to defend himself. You know what I mean? Because she's trying to, she's, I mean, like I say, she's trying to blame everything on this guy, y'all. I mean, everything. Saying it's his fault and this and that. Oh, you shouldn't have moved over there and such and such and yada 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 and whoop de whoop. Okay, like the man really know that this right here was about to get ready to happen. Like he really knew. You know what I mean? I mean, he's new to that city. He's trying to find a new place to live at, you know. He's trying to, you know say he's trying to do things a little bit differently. You know what I mean? And his, you know, his ex-wife, she just you know, she just wasn't, you know, just wasn't even trying to comprehend or even try to, you know, comfort him in any type of way. You know what I mean? She just giving him nothing but just guilt, 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 guilt. You know what I mean? And that and that guilt broke him down so much last night, y'all. Man, that man, that that man, that man cried on my shoulders, y'all. He cried on my shoulders, man. And that is me on saying that is my homie right there, man. That is my homie. That's just one person I would never turn my back on, man. I would never turn my back on this dude, man. Ever. Ever. You know, I mean I done had his back, he had my back, man, and that's how and that's how two friends 
should stay together and have each other backs no matter what, no matter what the situation is, man. Because in the long run, we all need somebody or we all need that one shoulder to cry on. We all do, man. You know, and without that shoulder to cry on, it's just a matter of time, y'all, before we snap. It's just a matter of time before we just snap. Exactly what it is, man. A matter of time, you know. But, man, I mean, oh, I really do feel for him, man. I really do. I really do. Honestly, I do. I guess we go ahead and put up the 2010 Sonata. Go ahead and send that baby to card heaven. Exactly where she going. What does ABN stand for? I don't really think you want to know. Now everybody who's been rocking with me for the longest, who's been rocking with me for a while, they know exactly what ABN stand for, man. I don't really think you want to know what it stand for. That used to be my old calling card. 15 years ago when I first started this company, that was my calling card. When you call for me, you call for ABN. I don't, like I said, I don't think you really know what that, I don't think you really want to know what that stands for, man. I don't think you really want to know. Guess we go ahead and put the 05 up off in there, too. Oh, so 05 Volkswagen Jetta. Man. Man, my homeboy used to have a Jetta back in the days. He had an old Jetta, old style Jetta back in the days, man. Old one, old one. That boy right there, man, he drove that sucker, man, until that sucker fell apart. Okay, I'm about to push my crusher back again. Damn, man. I don't get it. Oh, my baby, she is. She's on that lean mode hard. God, please, she's on lean mode hard. Oh, man, I need to find some ways I can put behind there besides tires. I got boards, I got bricks. I got everything, man. All that pushing and shoving because of the doors. Man. It is what it is. Yeah, so I kind of gave the wrong year on this one. It is a 2011, not a 2010. I had one number off on the damn event. I did not read correctly. So I had to go back and read the VIN to make sure I had it and I was I was one letter off, so it didn't, uh, I didn't read it right, so that is my fault right there, but we got it taken care of now, oh man, whoo, we y'all, it is, it's starting to heat up out of there again, y'all, it really is, oh man, so somebody told me, uh, on this Ford Taurus here, I mean, not this Ford Taurus, but this uh, this Ford Tempo, this Ford Tempo here. One guy told me that they made one of these cars to a diesel. I'm not for sure if that's true or not, but even but if it is diesel, it's a rare Ford Tempo. This one is not. I don't know yet because I haven't opened up the hood. But we'll find out and see if it is or isn't. But I don't think this one is. I think this is just. Uh, regular gas on that one that's what I think that one is just regular regular plain uh, paint plain gas on that one there oh, man let's go ahead and put the the rest with this one here go ahead and crush this baby down. <laughs> oh man oh man man Mario but we just got to finish digging through cars and stuff man well, oh, man, I mean, Mario must have found about a thousand pennies. What well, he did, I did. Mario found about a thousand pennies. So Mario got him some money, man. Got him some money. Oh, man. Man. Woo. Man, 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 man. man. Y'all, it is really, 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 really. <laughs> Y'all check out Mario on his little soprano hat, man. Look at him. Look at him on his little soprano hat, man. He found, he found two of them off in the car, so he done threw with, so he done threw, threw one of them on, and he's got the other one sitting up there on top. He's 
got the other sitting right there where we actually uh wrap our cars with. Woo, man. Oh, gracias. Come on, baby. Come on down. Home. Oh, I forgot you still got a job. All right, let's go back. Well, matter of fact, let's go ahead and uh, put up the temple. And I got to go back there and get that Mercury Sable, the 91 model back there. I'm going to go pick it up. But we'll find out and see if this is going to be gas or diesel. Now, I have met someone in the past that said that they have crushed one before but mm, mm, man it's kind of i don't know man i don't know i mean certain cars certain cars are pretty rare you know what i mean certain ones they are you know especially back 80s 90s or early 80s late 80s you know I mean, but it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. All right, let's run back here right quick and let's go on ahead and get this uh this disable right quick. This micro save. Man, got an old LTD right there. Reinforcing it. Got a couple of more, man. I got a couple of more. I gotta come back and uh get that bow bow. Let's go ahead and take this baby up there very quick. Man, well you don't see these little bitty things right here, man. Then the wheels, then the wheels on some of these, they came with the uh they came with the rubber on the steel. So you know, but when I first started this place, man, when I first started crushing cars, man. I didn't really too much know about the rubber wheels on some of the Ford Tauruses, uh, some of the Ford Tempos, uh, the Mercury Sables from back in the day. I didn't really too much know they were rubber until maybe six months after, you know, after I finally learned the bottom that they was not, um, they was not aluminum. They was just rubber over steel. Took me a while to figure that out, man, but I finally got it. You know, I mean, I learned a lot of stuff, man, over the years of being here. I learned a lot of stuff about cars. I mean, even though I didn't know stuff about cars because I was a mechanic, so I was doing mechanic work, you know what I mean? So, you know, like I say, I learned a lot with this job here. I mean, I, I learned probably 20 times more than what I would learn just being in the streets, learning, you know, learning from the streets or whatever, you know? So learning this way, I done learned a lot more man a lot more a lot more learned uh kind of i kind of picked up on how to read vin numbers too also picked up on that took me a little time to learn that so you know you just got to learn it as i go man i love learning new stuff i love it i love learning new stuff just like now i'm finna go try to uh just like now i'm finna go try to set up me some stuff so i can uh so i can uh, uh do me man some aluminum welding man i just want another trade Another trade equals more money in the pocket. That could be like a side, uh, another another one of my side hustles. You know, cause I have a side hustle. I do mechanic work. I do I do uh, um, diesel mechanic work on the side. You know, especially you know, especially a lot of people that's in my area. You know, they know that I crush cars and stuff. So I'm always I'm always dealing with parts with them. You know, it ain't nothing. It ain't no big parts. You know, little little small stuff. You know. Uh, you know, window regulators here, starters, alternators, you know, just little small stuff, solenoids, you know, you know, take a couple of little solenoids out the transmissions, you know, stuff like that, you know, nothing that just be to where I'll be like, man, I'm not going to be able to, you know, do this or do that, you know, but, hey, like I say, man, you learn a lot of stuff these days. Bird right here, got one of those, we're going to throw them back there in the back, that'll be for this right here will be for next week. It ain't going on this load right here. I got enough. I got enough fours as it is now over there now. So that's good enough. We'll just say it that one. That way I can add some more. Add more fours to it. Oh man, 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 man. 
like this property 14 years ago with these guys who I'm crushing right now with these guys who I'm crushing right now so I knew I knew these guys right here from 14 years ago all these guys off in here I knew these guys Mexico pork chop uh, Victor uh, everybody's off in this place I've been knowing like Ayo my partner Ayo I've been knowing Ayo man since I was working at uh, Al Picky Parts when I first started at Al Picky Parts there that's where I started on that one. Oh man. Y'all hold up one second, I'll finish that story. Yeah, so back to what I was saying. So yeah. So about uh like I say, 14 years ago I knew these guys. These guys had a yard order off of Dowdy Ferry. So it used to be uh it used to be about 12 people over there we used to crush. So one day, one day, uh we met this one guy, right? And uh, this one guy, you know, he was a, you know, we thought he was a pretty cool guy. So he was over there crushing cars, you know, we used to crush his cars for him. So then one day, so then one day, you know, he bring this car up off in there, right? And it's a new model car, man. This is a almost a brand new car, right? So soon as I get to start processing and everything, next thing you know, there's about 20, 30 police, U.S. Marshals, FBI, everybody come up off in there. So, you know, this is not the first time that happened, you know what I mean? It's not the first time. So, when they got, I think it was a, I think it was a, they, they, they got a call about something, right? About, uh, you know, hey, we got some guys over there crushing stolen cars and such and such and woo, woo, woo. So, you know, they end up coming out. And uh, that time when they did come out, like I say, it's about 30, 40 cars, man. U.S. Marshals, FBI, state police, I mean, everybody. So, they come over, I mean, when they come off, they came off there like, ah, ah, ah. And you know what I'm saying? It's car squeaking, you know what I'm saying? Hopping out the car, they hopping out the car. Stop what you're doing. Stop, don't do nothing. Else. Don't touch no more cars. Don't do nothing. So, I, I'm looking, I'm like, what the hell is going on? So, you know, after I done, you know, after I done turned around, after I turned around and heard the damn me noise, and when I see FBI, state police, I was like, oh my God, here we go. So, they was like, hey, don't do nothing. Don't touch nothing. Don't even touch the cars. Don't do nothing at all. Call your boss right now. Tell your boss what's going on. Cause we're about to, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we're about to seize. His, um, his crusher and his loader, we finna take it to the pound. So we told the boss what was going on. And the boss was like, hey, 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 come on now, such and such. You know, I didn't hear that conversation, but, oh, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh man, I got bad heartburn. Woo, 93.4 tempo. So, like I say, after we called the boss and told the boss what was going on and boss talked to them and everything, so they came up off in there. After the boss talked to them, they shut us down. I mean, when they shut us down, they shut us down, man. So, but like I was saying, but when they came up off in there, man, y'all, they had clipboards, they had papers, they had everything, man. They was like, man, anybody who has a stolen car off in here, you're going to jail. You're going to jail for having stolen property on this property and your own property. 
you're gonna be going to jail. Well, also, we're checking for tickets. We're checking for any type of outstanding warrants. They was checking everything, man. They ran everybody ID, everybody's background. I mean, these dudes, they came out there in a big swarm, man. I mean, they, like I said, they got clipboards and everything. They went up to every car, man. Probably about that time, it probably at least about, uh, I would say maybe about a good six, 700 cars off in there between the 12 people. You know what I mean? So, they do all that, man. So, about a week, about a week goes by. About a week goes by, they get down to like the last, maybe the last couple of hundred cars, they get down to it. And they end up, they end up falling, they end up finding about 13 stolen cars, man, out of 500 first car, out of 500 cars. Then what's so crazy about it, so the cars that we did have in the crusher that was already crushed, even the ones we had stacked and wrapped, they was like, take apart every single last one of those cars. We want to check every VIN number in this place. I don't care if that car is crushed. I don't care if it's upside down. I don't care if there's trash on it. You knock that trash off. We want to see the VIN. Boy, y'all, we had the worst damn time ever, man. We was picking up trash from the cars for days. When I say days, y'all, we was picking it up for days, man. I mean days, days, days. I mean, we had so much trash from the crushed cars, man. We, we probably had at least about a good, um, I said at least about a good, at least, at least about a good 20, 30 bundles we had stacked up. You know what I mean? We were putting tons of trash in between them and everything, man, y'all, man. We had a bundle, we had a trash bundle so tall that it took us, like I said, it took us days, y'all, days to make all that trash disappear. I mean, man, we have to recrush everything. Man, it was such a pain in the ass. And then they know it, but what's so crazy about it? It just didn't happen once. This happened like four or five times, y'all. Four or five times before they actually got the point and got the picture about, hey, don't be having no more stolen cars about for here. You won't have to worry about all that. Man, all it took, y'all, all it really took was one bad apple to score the whole entire bunch. That's all it took. Just one bad apple, man. It was just like, oh my God, man. But yeah, we had, but yeah, I have been shut down before back in the days. Yes, I have, man. I mean, I got stories on that stuff right there for days, but, but, <coughs> but in some things, I mean, it's some things I cannot tell because uh, because of people's identity. So that right there is gonna have to be for another time. But I have to I have to get with these I have to get with these guys that are over here and ask them. You know, is it okay for me to uh, you know uh, talk about it and actually say some of the names of some of the guys that used to be over there? You know, this one I just want to make sure that everything is all coke and steady before I put somebody's name out there because I'm just not the type of person who's gonna blab out somebody's name. You know what I mean? That's just like a, that's just like me calling out another you an, another YouTuber, which I don't even know, you know, who his name or whatever, whatever he's about. You know what I mean? So I'm just not finna I'm just not finna do that, man. It's just not my type of tea. You know what I mean? Just not my cup of tea at all. Just not. I don't like the drama. I uh, don't need the dramas, dramatized sensation. You dig? I don't need that. Do not need it. Y'all give me a season. Boy, this car right here, man, got so much rat, rat droppings in it, man. Then we seen a big old snake poke his head out through the, through the leaves. Man, Mario say, nope, nope, nope. He can have that right there. He can keep that. He can have that and keep it. For real. Woo, man. <sighs> man, a 91 Mercury Sable. You really don't see too many of these babies no more at all. You really don't. Not anymore, you don't. You just don't. I mean, but it is what it is, baby. It is what it is. Woo, wee. Give me a little jog right quick. Y'all hold on. I think y'all already know what's about to happen. 
with this white van right here. I think y'all already know. I don't even have to tell y'all. But y'all should know already. You know what happened to the last one. Ah, I got another one, baby. I just stay in quiet mode just for one second. Violin fan, that's all for you, man. You asked for the sideway crush on the bowl ball, and there she is right there. It's all for you, baby. Man, it don't get no better than that, y'all. That doesn't get no better than that. This baby right here is flat, 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 flat. Yes, sir, she's flat, flat. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that, look like a long ass book. Right, let me put that up, that baby right now. Give me one scissor. Man, y'all check that out, man. I think that red car is a Chevy Beretta, man. I can't even remember the last time I seen one of those things. Golly, man. That's an old car right there, y'all. Man, that's from way back in the day. That's like uh, Chevy Lumina days, Chevy Corsica days. That was all back in them days right there, man. Well, y'all check out this old long Ford right here. Yeah, man. I believe this is a Ford. I think this is. I don't think it's no Chevy. I believe this is a Ford here. Yeah, it's a Ford. I can tell by the damn doors that's a Ford there. It's no Chevy. That's for damn sure. Ooh, man. Well, this bike right here is old, old, y'all. This is old, old hill. Man. I stick it right here in front of his bundles. When it's time for me to move it, then I move that baby. Man, that baby got grass growing on the inside of her. Y'all look at the grass that's growing out from the motor. And then look at the back. The back got grass growing up out of and every damn you think. Godly <laughs> boy. All right, y'all, man. Y'all stay up. I'll stay up. I'm gonna get back with y'all, man. Peace. Look at Mario, y'all. <laughs> boy, Mario tripped me out with that hat, boy. <laughs> Peace.